up everybody, this is Dr. Mongoose bringing you your recommended dosage of all things MLG Halo and gameplay wise, and today I have for you the first bit of Halo 4 breakdown that I've ever done on this channel. Um, I'm going to throw up a disclaimer right now, this isn't my video, I haven't played Halo 4 yet, I'm just analyzing what I see. And a big thanks go out to the Halo Council user, uh, his name is A Haunted Army, and the YouTube channel for this is Blitaz. Is a uh, Blita Blitaz a ninja? So big thanks to both of them for getting the gameplay uh, to us. And this game, this game, uh, after watching it, it's a 29 and 0 perfection on 29 and 0 perfection. And I thought this would be a good time to, especially with how well this guy uses um, power weapons in this game, to talk about uh, potential power weapons for Halo 4 and uh, what they could entail. Obviously, when it comes to power weapons in Halo games, the classics have always been sniper, r sniper rifle, rocket launcher, uh, occasionally the shotgun, certainly in um, Halo, certainly in Halo 1, uh, that was uh, that was a case, was a bit of a sniper rifle there. Uh, in Halo Reach, we had the addition of the grenade launcher, as well as we had the mauler in Halo, f in Halo 3. Well, not really a power weapon, it was certainly a uh, good up-close and personal weapon. So I think it's important to kind of categorize it, and certainly you know those uh, those more important the important weapons to control on the map. Uh, but specifically for this gameplay, I'm going to be looking at the sticky detonator and the saw. Now the sticky detonator we've seen a lot of recently, but uh, not too much of the saw. It's a heavy machine gun type weapon, uh, capable of putting a lot of rounds down range, and uh, really really quickly, as you can see uh, right here in the gameplay. And I think it's important to kind of analyze these two things as to what we might see as potential new power weapons and their use in competitive play. Um, now, traditionally in competitive multiplayer, a power weapon kind of has to take some skill. Uh, the sniper rifles, obviously, you have to you know be able to control your control your weapon, get headshots, that sort of thing. So the it goes without saying that a sniper rifle takes skill. Rockets have always kind of they've kind of been a toss up. Um, obviously, they can be you know just a uh, shoot shoot and look away weapon but you know controlling splash damage controlling where the rocket goes um, especially in Halo 3 where the rockets were uh, underpowered compared to Halo 1 and Halo 2 so the rockets have always been up there as a power weapon uh, so when it comes to Halo 4 and all the new uh, new things that 343 is kind of bringing to the party is uh, what is going to be these uh, new kinds of power weapons now you saw earlier in the gameplay the sticky detonator. It almost behaves a bit like the grenade launcher in Halo uh, Halo Reach, uh, but I would say a bit more uh, exact. The grenade launcher in Halo Reach can be finicky. You know things that you should have gotten a kill on you don't. Uh, the sticky detonator seems to react kind of react in such a way where a person has to be standing almost directly on top of it for uh, them to be killed by it. Otherwise, you see that they'll, you know, their shields will go down, they'll be weakened, but it seems to be a much more consistent weapon than, say, the grenade launcher was in Halo Reach. Uh, but more importantly, I wanted to talk about the saw uh, in this gameplay. Now, the saw is seems to be a beast of a weapon. Uh, it puts, it, if you look right there, it kills the guy in almost maybe in two, two and a half seconds. I wasn't really counting. But it's a very, very, very quick weapon, and and as you see it here, paired with the uh, the sticky detonator, this guy is just kind of going off right there. I think he just got... Oh no, that was just a double kill. I thought it was a triple kill right there. But these, uh, the, both of these weapons are very powerful. And more importantly, especially when they're paired together. Um, so it could be interesting if competitive play decides to accept both these weapons. Uh, if you could see a new T2 combo of sorts. Instead of running Rocket Sniper, you run Rocket Sticky... You run a Sticky Detonator Saw. Uh, but the question, I, the question I'm going to leave to you guys is... Does the saw have a place in com in competitive play? Obviously, it's a power weapon. Uh, it kills very quickly if you get the jump on someone. Uh, sw uh, switching out this combo, oh, he doesn't. He went for the melee there, but switching out a switching out a combo like that, uh, it killed very quickly when he just got them down to shields. It took almost nothing. Granted, there is bloom like the assault rifle, but the bloom doesn't extend too much to the point where it's not that difficult. I mean, even firing from long range, he doesn't seem to have too much of a problem there. Uh, the magazine size looks to be quite uh, quite high, so you can definitely get two to three kills probably in one mag if you're uh, really if you're really uh, timing your shots or pacing yourself with it. You don't see too much in this gameplay, but I imagine that if you were to do that, it would probably work in such a way. Uh, coming from an ordnance drop, it does look like it uh, comes pre-stocked with quite a bit of ammo. He's had this uh, he's had this one saw I think from his first ordnance drop and hasn't really changed anything out. Granted, he could be using an attack package or an armor ability that allows him to pick up spare ammo, but I haven't seen any uh, anything 
pop up on the interface. So it could just be this is what the base ammo comes with, or if it come if it's coming from an ordnance drop, it's just gonna spawn with a very large amount of ammo, which could be uh, it, which could be something against it when it comes to use as a power weapon. But I'm curious what you guys think. As of now, I don't think it would be a power weapon. Uh, it doesn't take too much skill to use. You don't have to uh, work too hard to uh, to get to get kills with it, and it doesn't uh, it overpowers other uh, it overpowers other weapons. I think, and power weapons have to be in balance with each other. Uh, that's just my opinion on it, guys. I was hoping that you guys might be able to give me your thoughts on it. Uh, this is my first Halo 4 breakdown, so you know, tell me how I did, what you guys thought. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Mongoose, and watch two of my videos, and call me in the morning.